Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, my name is Lou Ann, and that coffee is a brewing, and there's some sweet iced tea out there in that ice box. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today is another slow cooker recipe for slow cooker palooza, so let me turn the camera around and let me show you what I'm making today. Okay. I am making a chicken alfredo. Uh, I am going to cheat. I am using my deboned um, rabbit in this recipe and the next step it it calls for a uh, chicken breast but I'm using what I have on hand uh, the first thing we need to do is to sprinkle with onion powder with our our chicken we're pretending like this is chicken and I need to sprinkle with some garlic powder and then we're going to add our cream of chicken soup and cream of celery soup on top of this and let it cook. Um, so before we add our other ingredients. The recipe says to use a pound and a half of diced chicken breast. And of course this is already canned chicken. I mean canned rabbit, but we're pretending like it's chicken. And this is a cream of chicken soup I made homemade. Uh, so let me get and make the cream of celery soup. The only difference of cream of celery soup is that I added some dried celery to this and just got to let this get thick. And then we will be adding it to our recipe that we're making today as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this cream of anything soup mix and stay tuned for more soup mixes, more mixes to come. I'm going to try to post them every Saturday. So I'm going to keep this on warm for three or four hours. I mean, the rabbit is already cooked. Uh, if the rabbit wasn't cooked, it would have been fine, but I'm just going to keep it warm. Um... I may probably about noon or one turn it back up on low before we add our other ingredients to this. So stay tuned for the rest of the recipe. It says in the recipe to add four ounces of um, Ameri cubed American cheese. I got cheddar cheese. And I'm going to add a little bit more than four ounces. I do have a little bit of Parmesan cheese in here as well. Um, and you've got to let this cook on low until the cheese is melted. And then it'll be ready. I could turn it on warm and get our fettuccine uh, cooking. 